Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, apologies, I'm starting off my pyjamas with no makeup, but I thought, you know what I'm like, I will do the breakfast and everything, and then forget to do the intro once I'm dressed. So why not do it now? No time like the present. So today's video, I am eating Christmassy themed food from Aldi. I'm just about to make my breakfast. So if I'm honest, breakfast was the hardest one to find. Uh, there wasn't really many breakfast themed, uh, Christmas themed breakfast food in there. My last resort was to go for some sort of Christmas crumpet, but they didn't have any. I checked and they didn't have any. The only themed Christmas, <laughs> see you can tell it's the morning, I can't get my words out. The only themed crumpets they had were football ones for the World Cup. So couldn't go for that. So then I, I was walking around the shop and I thought, what would I have? Christmassy breakfast, like in the, uh, maybe on Christmas day. My answer is nothing. I don't have breakfast. Basically in my house, we just basically eat bits ready for the for the actual Christmas dinner. So we've got my dad and my mum, they do a lush sausage meat dish. Um, and ever since we were little, my dad has always done an extra sausage meat dish and that is our breakfast. So basically as we're opening our Christmas presents in the morning, we're just picking at that. That might sound gross to some people, but we've all got our traditions at Christmas, haven't we? So I haven't got that. I'm just telling you, that's why I don't, I know lots of people have like salmon and eggs and whatever, but we don't have like a traditional breakfast. So I thought next best thing, pate. Now I love pate and all right, you can have pate all year round, but it makes me feel, I don't know, most people will have it at Christmas, won't they? And my dad, again, makes the most amazing I think he makes chicken liver pate. I don't know what pate it is, but it's amazing. It's good. Um, this one is a Brussels and shallot pate. I, like I say, I don't have the receipt in front of me and I just can't bother to get it. So I'll put the price on the screen. Um, but I don't think I've tried this flavor before. I tried to pick out one that, yeah, the one that I haven't had, just so I don't know, I can give my opinion on it fairly. I can't compare it to anything else. So I'm going to pop some of that on toast and I will let you know what I think of it. Right, here we go. I've gone for the end bit, a nice big knobbly bit of toast. It's quite pale. <laughs> I think most patties are like that to be fair, apart from the one my dad makes, it's quite dark. But anyway, we're not on about the color. Let's give it a big taste test. Mmm. That is good. Some of you are probably thinking, pate isn't breakfast. But for me, 100%, 100% that is breakfast. <laughs> Do you ever get when you take like a big bite and you don't chew it enough and you can literally like feel it going all the way down? It's really painful, that's what just happened to me, being too greedy. I don't really know what to say about this apart from it's really nice. It is really tasty. That was lush, 100% I would get that again. What do you guys have for breakfast on Christmas morning? Because honestly, I don't think, I know we all have our different traditions, but I don't think, like some people sit down and have like scrambled egg or eggs and poached eggs and salmon or whatever. But I think if I had that, if I had a proper big breakfast, I wouldn't be able to eat so much on my for my dinner. We have our dinner at about three o'clock as well, so. It's weird, it's weird on Christmas day, isn't it? Because like, if I didn't eat anything all day normally, I had a tiny little breakfast and then didn't eat my lunch till three o'clock, I would be starving. But anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna go finish this upstairs, but it's really nice. Nine out of 10. Can't go 10 just yet, but I'll see you for some lunch. I'm just about to do my lunch. And for my lunch today, I picked up these puff pastry festive slices. So it's British turkey and dried cranberries wrapped in puff, puff, puff pastry. I'm not sure why that was so difficult to say. These were, sorry, it's on my full weekly shop. So, you know, I've got a few bits to go through. £1.69. £1.69 for these two. And then to go with that, I'm going to pop it in the microwave. It says ready to eat, but I want it warm. I want to, you know... I just do, I just want to warm. I don't know why I have to always think that I'm having to explain myself why I want something. I don't know why I do that. 
actually, I'm going to pop it in the microwave. I'm not going to pop it. I'm really not sure why I can't talk today. I'm not going to put it in the oven or the air fryer because I think I said to you before, I prefer pastry when it's like soft or almost soggy. If I put it in the air fryer or the oven, it goes like puff pastry should be and like all flaky. I don't really like that. Uh, to go with it, I've got these turkey and stuffing hand cooked crisps. So I'm sure they are going to be good. And these were 99p, which is quite good. I don't really know how much uh, the ones from like Tesco's are. You know, like, I don't know, the Christmas Eve ones. But 99p, quite a full bag as well. So let me pop this in the microwave and we can sit down and um, have the good stuff. Well, did I or did I not say to you the other day? Look, this is going to be me backdrop. I'm not even sorry. Right, this smells really good really good it's got like it doesn't really explain what it's got on the top but look how good does that look honestly we need smelly telly i'm just gonna go straight in with a bite it's probably gonna burn my mouth but i'm a pig so you know okay so first mouthful is basically just full of pastry oh that's good did it say cranberry in there hang on yeah sorry i just had to run off and check what it what it said yeah it says that there's dried cranberries in there I'm not really getting any flavor of cranberry but i suppose if they're only dried then you know i'll eat my words that had cranberry in it it tastes like there's stuffing in there but not like not too much stuffing that's really flavorsome look at me with all the words right let's give these ones a go Ooh. What does that remind me of? I don't know what that reminds me of, but it's like some sort of wet football bag. That's what that reminds me of. When Josh has played football, his football bag just smells, you know, like wet muddy shoes. Not very nice. That's what they smell like. Hopefully they don't taste like it. Mmm. got an ulcer in that just touch that um not really very really impressed with them to be fair they're not horrible but they're not strong in flavor all i'm getting is stuffing no turkey whatsoever although turkey is quite like a not a strong flavor is it but they're quite thick i have one more and i'll go back to that probably wouldn't go for them again they're not horrible the reason i wouldn't go for them again is because they don't taste like what they're meant to just taste like a load of stuff in probably won't focus but there's a cranberry right there that little dark bit you can see it's a cranberry i do really like this i think they could have put some other bits in there rather than just turkey and cranberry put it brie in there as well i always say it on all my all of these christmas videos i'm editing back and all i'm like oh that'd be good with some cheese in it <laughs> right before i make a mess myself I'm gonna give him his advent calendar. You can't see him, but he's sat here looking at my food. His advent calendar is also from Aldi, so I suppose that is in with this video, but I don't really have any snacks. No, I don't have any snacks, so I will see you for some dinner later on. Absolute Christmas queen over here, if the fire wants to. Look at that, a real fireplace. Uh, it is real, listen. Are you feeling cosy? Let's get it back on me. Are you on me? I think so. I'll turn it off as well because it's probably a bit annoying. Mm. Mute it, sorry. Um, dinner. So for dinner, I've got, I've got some picky bits. Not proper picky bits. Not what I would choose a pick, whatever. I've just got a few bits that aren't actually a proper dinner. So, first up i'm gonna be quick with this and i'm gonna go put the other bits back in the freezer so i'm gonna tell you what i've got so here we have got i sent out that way we have got obviously i'm guessing part of the party food range some mini steak bakes these are 10 mini steak bakes once again i haven't been prepared the receipts out there and i, I can't keep going back and forward so i will put the price on the screen but these are yeah mini steak bakes just here i'm gonna put it at the top the prawns these are prawns 
Oh, I'll show you it in a minute. King prawns in blankets with an orange and rosemary sauce. And finally, we got some sprouts. I'm gonna have to hold it upside down because I stupidly cut open the bottom. These are Brussels sprouts, bacon, maple flavor glaze, and butter. So give me a sec. Let me put all this back in the freezer. But by the time I come back in, all this should be cool enough for me to eat. So BRB. First up, I am gonna try the sprouts. I've got quite a few sprouts here. So I don't like ordinary sprouts. Like day to day, I like them. The first time, obviously I've tried them before, but I didn't like them. But a couple of Christmases ago, we were around someone's house for Christmas dinner and they did a Brussels sprouts with, that had like black pudding, some sort of garlicky butter, bacon. They're amazing. So I like Christmassy sprouts, but they were all cut up. These are whole sprouts. So I'm hoping that they taste all right. Anyway, enough talking because my mouth's actually watering looking and smelling this food. Let's give this a go. Mm. It's alright. Actually they're quite nice. I know I don't know if these do they anywhere does these sort of sprouts all year round. I only ever see them at Christmas but to be fair I'm only ever looking for them at Christmas. Now I haven't got loads of the bacon but the bag I think it was all at the bottom of the bag so that's not their fault but it's good. I would get them again, to be fair. I like them because it's you don't get the horrible flavor of sprouts. <laughs> Up next, let's go for a prawn. So these are king prawns in blankets. I've never seen these or heard of these before. King prawns in blankets, and they give you a sauce with it. Um, it did say to, to pour it over the prawns, but I don't know if I would like it, so I've just put it in a dish. So let's give it a go. No. No, no. I'm glad I didn't pour that over it. It smells horrible. The rosemary, it smells really... The smell of it reminds me of like a, like a beauty therapy room where you're going to go get a massage. That's what that smells like. And the rosemary is really strong in flavour. The prawn, let's try prawn on its own. Obviously I know I'm going to like this anyway, so there's probably no point, but yeah. I've never even thought of wrapping a little prawn in bacon, but that's good. That sauce, however, no. As soon as I bit into that, I knew that it was just not, not my type of thing. So I recommend if you were getting them, I would do the same as what I did. And because obviously, look, in this photo, I don't know if you can tell, but like all over the prawns, they've poured it. I would put it in a dish. If you're serving it up for other people, put that in a dish because rosemary is quite a strong flavour. And it's very strong in there, so I wouldn't go for that. So finally, I should have got more, but the problem is it's all, party food is all frozen and I don't have loads of room in my freezer. So apologies for that. But if there's anything in particular that you guys have seen that you want me to try, then let me know and we can do another one. Obviously, we've got plenty of time, but I need to eat all of this first. <laughs> so finally, we've got these little mini steak bakes. Obviously they didn't look like that when they when the, they went in the freezer, but I think they've cooled down enough now, so let's give them it a try. Mmm. That's good. I think I left it in the in the oven, I was gonna say in the freezer. In the oven for a little bit too long. For my liking anyway. That's good. That flavour is really nice. Mmm. I don't know if I'm getting like a piece of steak though. It's more like the sauce in there that's really nice. It's like a thick sauce. But I don't know if I'm getting, let me have another. Yeah, you're not really, look. You're not really getting like pieces, little pieces of steak, but I suppose in something that big, they probably can't put them in there, but the sauce is nice, but I would have appreciated some little pieces of steak at least. I'm gonna finish off my weird little dinner. Josh should be glad he hasn't got this for tea. And I haven't got a pudding. I'll tell you all in a bit, but I've got a drink for pudding, so I will see you then. Time for some pudding. But it's alcoholic pudding, I'm afraid. There's no actual food. I'm gonna be having this for my pudding. Now, hang on, let me pop you down. I have tried this before. Some of you might have seen it on my Instagram stories. I'm gonna use my nice new little 
glass. Uh, so yeah, some of you might have seen it on my Instagram stories. It's oh, it's absolutely insane. I reckon it's like here now. Like I've drank so much of it. It is the Bally Castle, so it's the Audi version of like Bailey's basically. But it's chocolate, hazelnut, and caramel flavour. Honestly, oh, I might have got a bit too much. Oh well. Uh, honestly, if you haven't tried it yet, you need to go get some. I, I've literally had that a couple of weeks and it's nearly done. I'm nearly finished. I will 100% be going to get some more. Oh my God, honestly, it's insane. I think it's about seven pounds something. I don't have the receipt on me because like I say, it was a couple of weeks ago, but they also have like a chocolate and clementine flavor, I think and a coffee liqueur one and a white chocolate one white chocolate i'm not too keen on i had it i had it last year these are new this year honestly please if you take something out of this video take this go and try this also um i had some more of those what are they called king prawn things i've eaten the whole pack so it was like 10 in a pack i had five with you and then straight away after i was like you know what i'm not full so i had another five this time I put them in the air fryer. I think I prefer them in the oven. The air fryer made the bacon a bit crispier, but it, the prawns weren't like soft. You know when you get prawns and you kind of bite into them and they're like, you can they crunch. That's like what that was like. So uh, yeah, I would recommend them definitely in the oven, but they were lovely. So I think, let's go for what my favorite is today. I'm gonna have two favorites. I'm gonna go for the king prawn things and the pate this morning. I think that was really nice as well. This is just also a favourite, but I'm going for favourites of new things that I've tried. I've already tried this, so I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'm going to take my very large glass of liqueur upstairs and have a nice hot bath. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, you all know what I'm going to say. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. But yeah, that is all for today's video. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.